Hey guys, John Moss here. So in this video, this case study, I'm going to show you how you can explode your local business and start generating tons of leads, tons of calls for any kind of local business, whether that be something like a plumber, a roofer, a pressure washing company, anything that's kind of locally driven that people would be searching for in your neighborhood. So remodelers, anything like that. So I launched this project about eight weeks ago, and it's in a market of about 300,000 with you know 20 plus competitors so it's pretty stiff competition um, I'm gonna get right into it really quickly here so click over here so the first thing that I'm doing just to make sure that my search results come back as though I've never searched for this before so I went over here and I cleared out my history um, I'm signed out of Google and I have this incognito window open here so my main keywords that I'm searching for are limo service Greensboro. This is in Greensboro, North Carolina. So like I said, I, I started this project about eight weeks ago and it's it when I first launched it, it was on page seven for this keyword, limo service Greensboro. Um, I pointed a few links at it. It slowly moved up from page seven to five, then to three. And then over the last couple of days, I've pointed another link about a week or so ago, and it's over here on page two now. So I'm right here at about mid-page two, starting to generate some phone calls. Um, I have some other smaller keywords, smaller search volume on this website that uh, that's ranking on page one. So I'm just going to click on the website really quickly here. Now... There's a lot of content on here, and that's what Google wants to see. They want to see in-depth, authoritative, unique content about limos. So this is about 1,500 words on this home page here. I haven't finished all these sub-pages right here, but as you can see, there's all kinds of stuff that people be searching for for limos. Bachelorette parties, anniversaries, uh, graduations, prom, that sort of stuff. You know, so th these pages are really in-depth. Um, you know, there's probably... 150, 200 words, 300 words maybe on most of these pages. So this is just stuff people are looking for when they're, you know, searching for this kind of service. And you can mirror this for any kind of business that's kind of a local business or a national type business too. So let's go back. I'm going to cover a few things about how I make all this stuff work. So make sure I'm on page one. So this this section right here is the map section. Now there's a lot of factors that goes into how this where you show up in this map section I'm down here pretty low at the moment because this actually lags behind the organic rankings by you know several weeks maybe a couple months um, but you know this is a Google Plus Google Maps Google local listing you know people call it different si kinds of things but the main factors that goes into this is your name address and phone number and that's called a citation that's wherever your website has been cited around the internet now there's about 40 or so factors that goes into this, but the main ones, in my opinion, that matter are your citations, where you rank organically, you know, in these organic rankings, and the number of reviews that you have. Now, you see these two right here. Um, see Royal Limousine right here is number two in the map section. They're number one right here in the organic rankings. Uptown Limousine is one in the maps, number two here. So generally, if your website's ranking high, you're going to be up here in the map section and you're going to get about 80 percent of the calls to your business is going to come from being in this three pack well if you're down here in the low point you know if you have to click on these more places to get to your website which I'm down here at like at number 16 I think with three reviews um, and I got a pretty unique strategy to get reviews for your business too um, the people that I'm working with I'm trying to get them at least a minimum of two reviews so if you picture in 12 months you know, these guys have, they've been in business for years, and they only have like eight reviews, six reviews here. So you can imagine in 12 months, you have two reviews more per month. You're going to have 24 reviews, when, and that's a big factor, in my opinion, of showing up in the map section. So that's the, the Google Maps section, which is critical that you have this optimized. There's a lot of things that you can do to that Google Plus page that Google likes, Basically, so they're going to show you favor and be in this in this map section right here. So let's, as far as the organic rankings, now, like I said, when I went to my website, we'll go back over here again. That 
you really want to have a lot of unique and in-depth content. So you'll see some of these websites here. Let's go back to page one really quickly. Um, so let's click on one in about midway down. Prestige, Limo, North Carolina. So the reason why I'm starting to catch up with these guys and pass these guys is my content is better. There's more stuff on my home page. My internal pages are better. There's just more content, and Google likes that. They, you know, if you think of typing it and see this website, there we go. So, you know, there's there's some content on here, but you know where they have on their home page just one little thing about weddings. We'll click on this, and this website's loading slow too. So that's one of the another thing. These images are probably really big files, and it takes longer to load so your website is going to get dinged for having you know the speed in which it loads so my website is really lean uh, as you can see here this you know they got some cool pictures but their content is really thin if you go over to my wedding page on my site I'll show you that really quickly now some of these pages I haven't done yet but you know there's some pretty strong content on here about weddings and I've mentioned my keywords you know stuff that I'm looking for wedding limo and Greensboro that sort of stuff on all my pages that I'm trying to rank for so I've covered the local maps I've covered the organic rankings what it takes to get these websites you know there's really you gotta think of Google as a popularity contest so it's not just what you say about your website it's what other websites say about you so Ideally, you would want to get other websites talking and pointing links back to your website. And that's what ranks these organic listings up here towards the top. So it's really hard to get other websites to talk about you. So what I do is actually, I'm going to pull up another little image here that I've got ready for you. So what I do, if you can picture this website right here, this is my website in the middle. If you could picture other websites talking about you looking like this. So what I do is I go out and buy old expired websites. For whatever reason, the owner didn't renew them. Maybe they went out of business. Maybe they retired. Maybe their website is, you know, they're in a business that's obsolete now. Um, but for whatever reason, they didn't renew that domain. But that domain still has a lot of power. It still has a lot of incoming links, people talking about that website. It's been around for a while. It's got a lot of trust in Google's eyes, and Google loves these websites. So what I do is go out and set up new content on them. We filter through tons of these websites to find the ones that meet the criteria that we need to rank these websites that we're targeting here. So I go out and set up new content on them and point a link talking about this website here. So it may take, you know, in certain markets, you know, five to ten of these backlinks right here. And these are time consuming to set up. You know, there's a lot of content on them, three to five thousand, maybe seven thousand words of content on each one of these sites. And, you know, some of them are hard to write for. Uh, I have one that's about uh, the rock band game and one is about book reviews so I try to keep them relevant and that's what Google really likes these websites are relevant they're you know they're really specific about what they're writing about so I try to keep them you know with the same theme and same content and Google just loves it and when you point one of those a link from one of these influence sites like this a backlink it really pushes you up in the rankings so imagine in probably another three to six weeks three to four weeks something like that point in another couple links towards this website here my my limo service greensboro.net website that this website's going to be up here on a if not in the middle of page one at the top of page one and all i got to do you know if it if i point a couple more and it lands right here at you know number four i just point another couple links at it and it's going to get up here to the top and if you can imagine these companies have hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of fleets, you know, limos, party buses, uh, town cars, that sort of stuff. So they, there's a lot of money in this, and there's a lot of money in a lot of businesses, local business. So if you're up here at the top of one, top of page one, and up here in this map section, 
you're going to generate a lot of business. So if this sounds like something that you're interested in for your business, give me a call 434-489-6319 and I look forward to talking to you. We'll get you set up and get you start getting some leads flowing to your business. Bye-bye.